bienvenidas a la primera cumbre virtual de la Comisión de Mujeres de LULAC. Hello, and welcome to the League of United Latin American Citizens 2020 Mujeres Virtual Summit, the first in our history. Today, you will see and hear from some of the leading women in the United States and Puerto Rico on a wide range of subjects of importance to each of us. Hoy, presenciaremos conversaciones sobre temas importantes para cada una de nosotras de parte de mujeres destacadas de los Estados Unidos y Puerto Rico. To begin this historic summit, Cindy Benavides, LULAC National Chief Executive Officer. Para dar inicio a esta cumbre histórica, Cindy Benavides, Directora Ejecutiva Nacional de LULAC. Welcome y bienvenidas. At LULAC, we have so many ways to say how happy we are to be together. You are my hermanas, sisters, colleagues, family, and during this time of COVID-19, I want to first express my deep personal pésame to each of you who has been affected or lost a loved one to the pandemic. Words alone cannot express the pain we feel and share. This is why you have my personal commitment on two important related areas. First, to make sure that the issues of women and families is high on the list of the next administration. Second, that women, and in particular, Latinas, are in the Biden-Harris cabinet at the table with a clear, powerful voice that includes our priorities. Women's issues are America's issues. Women's concerns are America's concerns. And you can be assured that I shall work tirelessly on your behalf to convey your wishes to our elected leadership. You, the women of LULAC, is what makes LULAC so powerful. Whether in the aftermath of the natural disasters in Puerto Rico, the wildfires in Washington State, Oregon, or California, or the hunger relief efforts in California, Illinois, Florida, Texas, and New York. And yes, the historic get out the vote across the country. Latinas have been and are there on the front line. We are the essential workers. Thank you for all your hard work and for also joining One Million Latinas Strong. Of course, and this is so important to say and recognize with equal conviction, that LULAC is committed to continuing and growing our relationship with our very vital partners and uplifting our communities. Un millón de gracias, a special thank you to all of our partners to our presenting sponsor, Comcast, NBC, Universal, Telemundo, gracias. To ARP, Herbalife, Coca-Cola, Tyson, Walmart, AT&T, MasterCard, Molson Coors, Geico, Starbucks, Western Union, and El Rey, thank you for joining and standing with us together. And now, enjoy today's wonderful and very informative virtual summit. I know you'll find it very relevant and useful for our times. I also want to thank our Vice President for Women, Elsie Valdez Ramos, and the entire LULAC Women's Commission for all their hard work and their leadership on behalf of our entire LULAC familia. Ustedes son el alma y corazón de nuestra organización, y ustedes son quien crean impacto en cada una de nuestras comunidades en los más de 41 estados, Washington, D.C. y Puerto Rico. Al equipo LULAC, hashtag Team LULAC, gracias por todos sus esfuerzos. May God bless all of you. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Social distance. Y ahora, together. We rise. Gracias. Thank you, Cindy. Gracias, Cindy. And now, LULAC National Vice President for Women, Chair of the Women's Commission, and Chair of the Mujeres LULAC Virtual Summit, Elsie Valdez Ramos. Ahora, Vice Presidente Nacional de Mujeres de LULAC, Presidenta de la Comisión de Mujeres, 
y encabezando esta cumbre virtual 2020 de mujeres, Elsie Valdés Ramos. Saludos, amigos, Lula, familiares y todos los que están entrando a este evento. Soy Elsie Valdés, la vicepresidenta nacional de Lula que hoy le da la más cordial bienvenida al suceso histórico virtual dentro de Lula por primera vez en nuestra historia. Hemos logrado, gracias al gran trabajo del equipo que tenemos en Lula Nacional, llevar a ustedes una conferencia virtual. Las mujeres latinas, las mujeres Lula, las mujeres del mundo entero no nos detenemos ante situaciones como la pandemia. Buscamos formas de llegar a nuestra gente, de levantar nuestra voz en este momento que es significativo para la nación y para toda nuestra organización LULAC. A cada una de ustedes les doy la bienvenida a ver todo este proceso que tenemos preparado para llevar un mensaje consono con la misión y la visión de Lula a través de todos los medios de comunicación. A cada una de ustedes les invito a participar, a ser parte de todo esto, desde aquí para toda la nación, desde aquí para todo el Congreso, desde aquí hasta Casablanca, donde todo el mundo escuche la voz de nosotras las mujeres. Mujeres que ante el sacrificio nos imponemos para lograr lo que queremos. Y en este caso, queremos llevarle a cada una de ustedes un buen mensaje. El mensaje de que la mujer latina se empoderará de esta nación y desarrollará nuestras comunidades y atenderá a nuestras familias para un logro virtual en el resto de nuestras vidas. A cada una de ustedes les doy la bienvenida a este suceso histórico en la Conferencia de Mujeres Nacional Lula 2020. Disfrútela. Gracias, Elsie. Thank you. Ahora es mi placer, it's my privilege to introduce County Commissioner in Dallas, Texas, Comisionada del Condado de Dallas, Texas. Les presento la Primera Dama de LULAC. I present the First Lady of LULAC, la Doctora Elba García. Doctor Elba García. Hola, welcome, bienvenidos. Thank you for this very special invitation to join you today for the Mujeres de LULAC Virtual Summit. The LULAC Women's Commission has a very special place in my heart. I recall being with you in Puerto Rico and being so inspired and motivated by your energy, vision, and leadership. We all know that women, especially in our Latino families, keep everyone together and everything running smoothly. As we celebrate the 100 years of women having the right to vote, I'm so excited that Kamala Harris has made history for being the first woman and the first woman of color to be elected vice president of our country. This year, women candidates have secured 135 congressional seats, including 103 Democrats and 32 Republicans, which is a record. Seven more women since our last Congress. The US House also has a new record of 111 women. And of course, we will continue to work for more gains in the US Senate. I am so glad to see women running for office everywhere and winning everywhere especially women of color. You see, as an elected official of Dallas County Commissioner's Court and the first Latina, I'm seeing firsthand how much our families and communities need women leadership, especially during this health crisis. Because of this pandemic, women have been asked to do more. With our children studying at home in many areas of the country, we are also now teachers, nurses, mentors, you name it. We're also care takers for our aging loved ones. Our husbands are working more, or maybe they lost their jobs, and we are shouldering more of the financial duty. And of course, our own health is being affected. That's why healthcare should be a priority during this next administration. 
coming together helps us not only you know not feel alone but we know we're stronger together as we as we just witnessed during this last election i commend you mujeres de lula for your leadership and for being the strong voices in our communities y sobre todo por ser los pilares de esta organización as we continue through these difficult times and we're unable to join in one place all together we know we're together in spirit on behalf of president domingo garcia and i count on our support we stand with you Thank you and God bless you. Que Dios me las bendiga y un abrazo a todas. Adelante. And now, it is our honor to welcome today's keynote speaker. Queremos darle una bienvenida muy calurosa a nuestra invitada especial con un discurso clave. From the southwestern state of New Mexico, desde el estado del suroeste, Nuevo México, la gran líder que ahora representa el tercer distrito de Nuevo México en el Congreso de los Estados Unidos. I give you the dynamic leader and now representative for the third congressional district of New Mexico in the U.S. House, the Honorable Teresa Ledger Fernandez. La Honorable Congresista Teresa Ledger Fernandez. Buenas tardes. I'm Teresa Ledger Fernandez, congressional elect for New Mexico's third congressional district. I'm from one of those large ranching and farming familias whose father raised us as radical Chicanos because he remembered what it was like when they took the cattle to market and couldn't eat where the sign said no Mexicans or dogs allowed. And my mother was punished for speaking Spanish on the playground. They took that bigotry and turned it into advocacy and became the pioneers for bilingual and multicultural education because they knew that we must protect and keep our herencia, our language, our cultura, or else we lose our identity and our strength. And now their daughter will be the first Latina and woman to represent this district in Congress. Districts like mine deserve to be represented by somebody who not only reflects the district, but understands its beauty, but also its poverty and its promise. To paraphrase both Justice Ginsburg and Lynn Manuel Miranda, women of color deserve to be in all the places where decisions are being made about our communities. We need to be in all the rooms where it happens. As many of you know, when you represent your minority community, whether at a college, local office, or in Congress, your job is to constantly raise your community's issues. We're translators, translating between languages, communities, economies, and politics. We must tell the stories of our struggles and our perseverance so that our stories become part of the American story. You will hear us say over and over again, Latinos in politics are on the rise. We helped Biden win in Georgia, Arizona, in Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Nuevo Mexico, to name a few. But we must not only help others win, we must run and win ourselves. For me, winning for Congress wasn't a choice. It was a calling. Ores cuando was the calling. It came from a place of love, of amor. My campaign was rooting and protecting what you love. When you love something, you want it to thrive. Our nation is an incredible pain right now. And we must all dig into that deep well of love for our communities. From that place of love, we will and can tackle these challenges. We will and can build communities that thrive. So I encourage each of you tonight or today to take your unique lived experience and the values instilled in you to start healing that pain through action. Your success is the success of the entire community. Ora es tu momento, ora es cuando. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias. Thank you, Teresa Ledger Fernandez, U.S. Congressional Representative, representante en el Congreso de los Estados Unidos. Gracias por su participación a Teresa Ledger Fernandez. We wish to extend a heartfelt word of thanks to our corporate friends who are sponsoring this historic Mujeres LULAC Virtual Summit 2020, without which this would not be possible. Gracias de todo corazón por el apoyo de nuestros amigos corporativos, 
su ayuda hace posible este evento y estamos muy contentos por su participación. Comcast, NBC Universal Telemundo, AARP, Herbalife, Coca-Cola, Tyson, Walmart, AT&T, MasterCard, Molson Coors, Western Union, Geico, Starbucks, El Rey.